Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Amanda Watt says, when it comes to insurance and assessments, it takes a long time depending on the child's age. So insurance won't always pay for enough allotted time to assess, at least in my experience. I wish insurance gave more time. Now, Dr. Grampiche, you assess. Do you feel that that, that there's um, some truth to that when you do it? Or what I, do you think? I think Amanda is right. There is some truth to that. I, I, um, have a you know so many years behind me and so many credentials that I have a little bit more success in bullying the insurance companies when it comes to the kids I want to assess. But I think she's right. Uh, you know, if you want to do a really good assessment, sometimes it takes a lot of hours, and it's really important. Um, I the what how we deal with it, I guess, at Card, and I think this is uh, for all these CBAs out there who are trying to assess is that we divide it into different buckets. So first of all, there's a series of assessments that I think are vital in the very beginning. And so we focus on those. Those are sort of the, uh, the ones that we are usually allotted enough time to do the basic assessments that kind of help us identify the, the core competencies of the individual that we're going to treat and the, and the core areas of problem, problematic areas or struggle. And then we also uh, have, as you know, Shannon, developed a very, very intense, detailed uh, uh, developmental assessment, which is the skills index, the skills assessment. And that, fortunately, is an assessment that is filled out by the caretaker, um, the caregiver. So it could be, uh, you know, the long version, as you know, of the skills assessment is extremely detailed, it does take a while, but it's the parent filling it out. And that really, really helps us identify like what is going on with the child? What are their strengths? What are the issues? What, what do we need to do? So, so in other words, some of it we do, some of it the parent does. And then the ones that we have, we need to continue doing, we sort of do on an ongoing basis. So let's say six months into the intervention, we will do a series of other assessments when we can get additional observation time funded. Um, and we also assess the child every week in our, we have this process where we meet with the family and the child continuously and review kind of the progress. And of course, our data collection, I mean, ABA is so good when it comes to like just collecting ongoing data. So I agree with Amanda, it would be much nicer to have a, a you know, the number of hours you really need for each child because some kids also i'll say this like a two-year-old who's relatively high functioning you're going to need to assess less than a 16 year old who has severe challenging behaviors so it's just the, it's you know and you get the same number of hours so so amanda's right thanks for watching autism live if you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. Subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.